I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Lux Deluxe. This game was sent to me by the developers, probably because I did a Let's Play of one of their other games, which was Castle Vox. Uh, this game actually came out before that, I believe, but it has been updated and sort of revamped for Steam, which is where it is available right now. Uh, it is a risk-type strategy game, uh, the difference being that you can play on multiple different maps, of which the game comes with a few, but the cool thing is that you can make your own, and there's the Map and Plugins button, which uh, opens up all the various player-made maps, as well as some plugins for like AIs and that sort of thing. Um, when I did the Castle Vox Let's Play, I did make a map, I believe it was of the Lord of the Rings map. I'm not so sure if I'm going to make a custom map for this Let's Play or not, I might. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to jump in and play some of the pre-made maps. We'll look at some of the player-made maps as well. There are a few that I wanted to try out. Um, just going to leave the setup here as it is. I've played a few of the games, you can tell by the stars. Um, not great at it, so I'm going to leave some of the computers on easy, a couple mediums. Let's jump right into the first map, which is the Castle Deluxe MP. And uh, this one is a little bit interesting because rather than just a regular risk map like say the classic widescreen map uh, this has a few different bonuses you get for capturing certain cities as well as castles so it's a pretty interesting map we'll jump right into it okay so the game has been set up by default to uh, select various sections of the map for each of the players uh, you can change that so that you can actually choose which ones you want. Um, I have got it set up so that we get automatic territories, but I get to choose where my troops are going to go, and as we can see, the computer has already started placing down some of its units. Um, I'm looking for a corner. That's always the best strategy, I think, finding a corner that is easily defensible, and it uh, looks like right there is best for me. Now that'll give me a choke point there, a choke point there, but to push out I'm going to be risking myself. I could put some in the castle because there's only this guy. Uh, we do have three other players to go though, so... Oh, actually the green's already put down. So is orange, never mind. Where's white? White hasn't gone yet. Okay. Well, white has a lot of territory up here, so they're probably going to put something there, but I'm going to put my first four units up here anyway, and we'll wait and see. Yeah. Purple's going to consolidate over there, it looks like, and red is scattered all over the place. Um, so maybe I want to put some in here. We'll try and take that castle early on. If I can get a choke point there and uh, start sweeping up to here, that's probably my best bet. Although orange is starting to look a little aggressive up there. I've found, uh, at least at this difficulty level, it's best to just basically lump a huge amount of your troops together because you really want to get in there and capture a lot of territories early on because then you get bonus troops for the next round and possibly cards. The best strategy though, and I didn't figure this out until a couple games in, was that it is the best strategy to try and wipe out a player because as soon as you do that you get all of their cards and that can basically allow you to just steamroll through. Um, White is really consolidated on that mine, and they're probably going to expend a lot of that as they branch out because they don't have a lot of territory. Um, so we don't have to worry about them right now because they're way on the other side of the map. I'm going to... hmm. I think I can wipe the floor with them pretty easily, but I want to have enough guys in here that I can sweep around and capture some territory. It looks like I'll probably want to choke that off right there because we've got some big guys here. I'm hoping he'll turn around and avoid me. But uh, if I want to sweep up here... I want to get rid of that because if I do that then I can sweep around... Okay, fine. We'll put it... Um, we'll put it in here. Okay. So we're going to have to get rid of this guy in the castle. Probably risking... Oh man, that took so much of my... You know what? Let's just take the castle. So I lost all of my units, but I now have the castle giving me a bonus of three. Um, I'm going to risk... Well, let's take the entire territory here first. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to risk what's going on there. Risk uh, red coming in behind me. Risk green coming down to take the castle. We'll just leave it as is for now. 
I should get quite a few units my next turn, so I can put them in the castle, sweep around here, or put them here actually, and then sweep around. Probably get my choke point there. Yeah, I've got eight players. Okay, so we'll put this here. Now let's see. If I sweep, okay, yep. I, oh, damn, I lost so much. You know what, let's just keep taking it. At this point, you want to take as much territory as possible. Now there's no one taking this castle, no one defending that. And purple is letting white build up a lot. This can be a problem. If white just sits here and continues to build this up, I mean, eventually they're going to have to push out because they're probably going to lose that. But the problem that can come from this style of play, or at least against the computer, is that with a huge amount of troops, it can just sweep through and take a large section of territory, which would give them a lot of reinforcements the next turn, so they can take another large swath. I mean, I've, I've run into this problem before, where the computer doesn't face any opposition. Um, I think I'm gonna just going to leave that there, although I should really take these pieces of territory, because orange... I mean, you can see down here on the left the size of the relative armies, and uh, basically this corresponds to who's doing really well. Orange? Mm, I'd really rather get them on this side of the river. You know, let's just take these towns. Yeah. We're losing... Don't want to lose too many, because I want to have a threat here to deter any possible incursions into my territory. There we go. Ten. We ought to be able to get that choke point, losing pretty much everybody. Now, if I take this... I think this is part of... Well, is it? I don't know. Let's find out. Yay! Okay. Now, the thing about capturing this is not only is it a great choke point, but just these two territories will give me a bonus of two. It'd be nice to move down here to get to this, and then I could choke it there. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it as is for now. White is bothering me. I mean, the problem here... If someone... How many cards does it have? White has no cards, because they haven't been capturing anything. So, basically, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue with white just sitting there. Unless purple turns around and starts consolidating a lot, in order to take this guy on, we're going to have to face that sooner or later, and uh, I'm not looking forward to that. I think... Hmm, let's put in a few up here, and then let's go down here to try and capture this. There we go. Okay. So I got my wish there. Now, orange looks a little bit troublesome. Ah! Okay, there's a white. Maybe if I capture that, it'll make white move out. I'd really rather have the computer uh, expend itself against the other computers. Let's get into that corner of the castle. Now the problem that I just did there was that I did not pick this one. So what I should have done was grab that, that and then come up here. So if I come down here, I'm going to have to go send a few guys back here. Not a huge deal, really, but I'd really rather not have that. Now the thing is, green is very close to, uh, to capturing, although green doesn't have anything. Okay, green's going to be wiped out. I want to take out green before the computer has a chance to, because Catherine has four cards. And those are the names I gave the computer, because the original names that uh, are by default, they were just kind of weird. So I named them after Civ leaders. Let's hope green sticks around for at least a few turns. Okay, shit. Well, I got a huge amount of reinforcements. That could actually help me sweep through here. I uh, probably want to save a few for here, though, because if I can get there, there, and there... I should be able to break through that pretty easily. So let's put in a few here. And we'll put... Let's see. If I... Hmm. Well, I can have this one... If I do that to there... I'm just trying to think. I can end up consolidating all my forces right here before the bridge. If I do this. I'm leaving this flank vulnerable, though, if I extend out there. But I, I want those four extra cards. And in fact... Looking at it now, I could possibly take out green and orange at the same time. Let's put in a bunch there, and we'll put in... Let's see, I probably only need two to take this. Well, I can always, I can always just send a couple, so let's put the rest in here. We will sweep through the castle. Taking this, this. Okay. 
So by default you go through a minimum of two to occupy a territory, but you can choose not to send all your troops in there at once. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way there, which is bothersome. Well, I might. I'm probably going to end up losing all of my troops by the time I get there, though. So I go six, five, four, and then I'd be three... Ah, uh, dang it. Well, let's hope Orange survives for a few turns. Meanwhile... Actually, wait, 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 this could be good. If I can take out... Okay, let's... Let's see if I can take this out. Yeah, there we go. So now I get all of Green's cards, which is an extra 14 people. That's enough to move in and take Orange, who had no cards, unfortunately. Um, this is not enough to take on Red, but I could move up there and take on Purple, because I don't want Purple sneaking in here. That could be problematic. This is really going to be a problem, though. As soon as they decide they're going to break out, and I, I did leave a lot of troops back here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just fortify. I'm gonna pull you back to the bridge. Pull you back to there. Now I noticed that there is actually a... Uh, a little bit of a trick here that you can do. Which is that you can sort of chain reinforcements for uh, for the ones. So like if I was to put a one guy one there, sometimes they will just infinitely chain. I mean up until they consolidate into someone. And I'm not sure if that's a bug. I'm not sure if that's uh, intended. But on some maps I have been able to get one guy who's like way over here and just chain reinforce him all the way to the front line. And I don't think that's how the game works, but maybe it is. Okay, so anyway move those two in there so we have some force and uh, let's end the turn here yep that's what I'm afraid of but he expended all of his troops doing that so I can just turn around and take all this back which is kind of a pain but I think I'm gonna have to do it that way and we are running into that issue I really want to consolidate these guys before having to confront that, but we can't let we can't keep letting these guys build up their armies. So I'm gonna to have to confront Red. Actually, Red would give me three cards right now. Could I take it? I think I could come really close, but I would expend all of my troops doing that. Might, we might be able to pull this off, but I'm going to really run the risk of... Shit. There we go. Okay. 16. So I can push them here, take that, and I think I'll just hang on to that choke point, because purple's probably going to put in there. Hmm. And then they move east, and I'll have to sweep back behind. Okay, so we'll move some troops. See, that's what I'm talking about. And sometimes they don't go all the way. So, like, if I separate these guys, they go into their ones, and uh, it allows me to basically move them more than I would be able to if they were grouped up as two together. So, yeah, I think that's a little bit cheaty. Move that down there, out of the castle. Probably not a great idea. Might be good just to pull this back, knowing that this is going to be that way. Well, we'll leave it as is for now. Gonna have to deal with purple. Yep. 50. Okay, you know what I should do with that is, uh, is just bum rush this. White has no cards, but god, we can't let them stay there. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go. We're down to seven. Yeah, I mean, that's a really 
really hard strategy to pull off, but we kind of have to do it. Now, can I take my castle back? I don't know about this. I might just expend a lot of troops unnecessarily. Let's actually take back some territory. Shit, I just lost everybody. Okay, let's not do that. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm just going to try and leave those guys there. Okay, let's do that. And hope this goes better. Okay, well, thankfully purple did not get a huge amount of troops. But that's still kind of annoying. Might be able to take that. Might be able to keep that. I've got ten troops back here that I really wish I could move to the front line. Okay. Well, here we go. I'm gonna lose a little bit, yep, but... Oh god, why? I hate when they do that. Maybe I should just sweep in here and take from behind. Okay, that's a little bit better. I can take this territory as well. I might actually be able to pull off this whole thing. Let's try it. Three? Ugh. Let's just take this. Let's hope you guys can take the castle. Yay! I win. Okay. So anyway, that was the first game. We'll probably go ahead and uh, look at some of the other maps a little bit later. Might bump up the difficulty. Classic widescreen, as I said, is just your basic risk map. I don't know how interesting that would be. The Roman map is actually kind of fun to play on. Um... And then we can look at some of the other... Some of these are, like, the solar system one looks nice, but it's really kind of weird. Um, I haven't tried the Silicon Valley one. I don't know. I'll give them a look. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here, and I'll see you next time.